Hello everyone, this is Sherman here from TechOS and today I'm going to show you how you can enable Siri support for third party applications. Now until iOS 10 was launched, you could only use Siri to interact with Apple's own apps. So for example, if you wanted to send an iMessage to someone, you could tell Siri to send an iMessage to whoever. And within the Siri interface, you'd be able to send a message, dictate what you want it to say, uh, you could cancel it, you could send it off, that sort of thing. You could also make things like FaceTime audio calls. So you could say make a FaceTime audio call to whoever and Siri would place that FaceTime audio call for you. That worked prior to iOS 10 with Apple apps, but with iOS 10, Apple have opened Siri up to app developers. So since iOS 10 has been launched now, it's been out for a few months, there have been many apps which have started to take advantage of this, the most obvious ones being messaging and VoIP apps. So applications like Skype and WhatsApp, which uh, you can make use to make free calls over Wi-Fi. Now today, I've only got one app on my iPhone which sort of really uses this and that's Skype so I'm going to show you how that works to send a message through Siri. Now you will have to enable this in settings and I think with Skype you actually have to go into the Skype settings and just select the option allow Siri usage for the app. So some apps may have different steps than others but it's very simple setup. Once you've set it up within each individual app you may have to go into the settings as well on your iPhone because it may not be turned on by default in your case. So if you go to settings and then scroll down to where it says Siri tap on that and then if I scroll down to the bottom and tap right at the bottom here app support uh, you'll have a list of all your apps obviously as I said I've only got one here Skype and it's already turned on so that's all working but you can choose which ones you want to have on so you don't have to have all your apps on if you don't want to so if I go back home I'm now going to start uh, sending just a basic Skype message so I'm just going to say who I want to send it to and then I'm going to dictate my message out and then I'll show you the interface for Skype obviously it's different for other applications so let's give it a go Send a Skype message to Adesh. Hey, comma, how's it going? Question mark. So as you can see, first of all, I I said who I wanted this message to go to, and then it asked me to dictate my message so I just dictated what I wanted to say and it comes up in its own little interface so each app will have a different interface obviously this is the Skype one uh, so it's just a simple uh, message with the person you're sending it to the actual message and you got cancel or send so I'd go ahead and send that or as I'm going to do you can cancel it so that's the basic uh, of using Skype or any other sort of app application with Siri support in iOS 10 I know there are many other applications I know I think Uber has one where you can actually use Siri to call a driver so uh, there's all sorts of functionality which you can get I think there's some apps which let you make payments through Siri so you say who you want to make the payment to how much etc so you get the idea it's a very useful feature it's one that I don't use too often because I don't tend to use Skype a lot because um, I tend to use sort of app, Apple services of FaceTime and iMessage but on the rare occasions I do use it I have been using uh, Siri integration because it's just there and it's a nice feature to use. It's much easier than having to go into the app and manually do things when you can just use your voice. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments on using Siri with iOS 10 third party apps, or if you need any help on Apple tech in general, then do get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.